What is going on everybody? Welcome to this PlayStation 2 collection update video. I think our last PlayStation 2 collection video was in 2017, so we've added a bunch of games. Now, what I usually do in these uh, collection videos is I like to talk about my nostalgia for the console, uh, memories about some of the games, all that stuff. If you just want to see the games collection, here is a timestamp for you right there. Just skip to that timestamp and you can just check out the games. You don't have to listen to me babble about how much I love the PlayStation 2, which sold 155 million consoles. Now that those people are gone, let's talk turkey here. PlayStation 2 is my favorite console of all time. I, I remember, um, God, it was like 2000, I was in stationed in Yuma, Arizona at the air station, and somebody in our barracks bought a PlayStation 2, and they're like, come check it out. You know, we were all PlayStation 1 guys. To so go over to his room, we check it out. He's like, yeah, it plays uh, CDs and DVDs and PlayStation 1 games and PlayStation 2 games and he popped in a PlayStation 2 game and no shit guys, I remember having this reaction like that that's the best graphics, or that's the best video games are ever gonna be. It's the best graphically, uh, auditorily, gameplay wise, it's the best video games are ever gonna get because in each console generation that I've been alive from you know the 2600 to 8-bit Nintendo and Master System, there was a huge leap. And from 8-bit to 16-bit, there was a huge leap. And from 16-bit uh, to, you know, 64-bit with uh, PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, there was this huge leap. And I thought, this, this is it right here, buddy. This is the final leap in video games. We have reached the top, the pinnacle. And I knew that I had to go out and buy one. So, fun fact, I was actually the second person on the entire base in 2001 to buy one of these bad boys. Here it is in the original box. Still pristine, except for all those dings and nicks. This is the original PlayStation 2 console that I bought back in the day. Now, it was pretty expensive. It was $399.99, but it also came with three games. I think I got Tekken Tag, NFL Game Day, and maybe Hot Shots Golf. I think those are the three games that I got. So, but I just remember it was crazy because I went to the KB Toy Store and, you know, they had, they had it, so I bought it. And I had to sign a, a waiver saying that I wouldn't take it out to my car and leave it in my car because people could steal it. Uh, they, they wrote down the serial number on the console, all that stuff. So it was just weird. Like they don't, they don't do that now. You know, they didn't do that in the past. It was just, uh, you know, it was one of those weird things. It was a weird time in games, you know, with the, uh, the Dreamcast and uh, the original Xbox, the PS2 and the GameCube coming out, which in my opinion, the sixth generation is the best generation for games and uh, consoles and sort of that, that new age console war. And PlayStation 2 won. You know, I'm not saying the other consoles aren't great or anything like that, but uh, let's do, I mean, talk Turkey. 155 million units sold, over a billion units of software were sold. Uh, you know, it just, it was a great console. All, all genres of games could be played. The only thing that I don't like about the original PlayStation 2 is that it's not region free. I think we're spoiled nowadays with region free consoles like uh, PlayStation 4 or 
you know, super backwards compatibility in the consoles with, uh, you know, the PlayStation 3 can play PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games. Uh, you know, the new Xboxes can play 360 and original Xbox games. So, But uh, all in all, the PlayStation 2 is a beast. Uh, there's so many rumors and stuff surrounding it that Russia bought, you know, you know, 4,000 consoles because they, it was so powerful that they wanted to use the, the parts in there for laser-guided missiles or something. So just the mystique around the PlayStation 2 is enough to uh, to draw you into it. Like I said, this is my original that I bought back in the day. Uh, this one I got gifted from a family member. They were just going to throw it out. Yeah, we were just going to throw it out. <laughs> I'll take it. And then this little guy right here I picked up at the Bexley Community Sale last year for 20 bucks. So anytime I see a PlayStation 2 in the box, I feel like it's my civic duty as a gamer to purchase it, especially if it's like 20 bucks, you know? And um, yeah, I don't know, guys. Great console. Let's get some games on the shelf and let's start going over some of these uh, awesome, awesome games for the PlayStation 2. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I don't really talk about sports games that much. I just kind of throw them up on the shelf. I have two that I sort of want to talk about. NCAA College Football 2005 with Larry Fitzgerald on the cover. Uh, probably my favorite sports game for the PlayStation 2. I've got like 25 seasons complete in this. What I do is I start with a, a bad team, like Wyoming. Sorry, if you live in Wyoming. And, uh, you know, take them all the way to the top, and then you get a job offer for a bigger school, and that, you know. But anyway, if you ever see this one out there, MVP 07 NCAA Baseball, actually pretty valuable game. Goes for about 20, 25 bucks. So if you ever see that one out there, definitely check it out. So another genre that the PlayStation 2 is uh, kind of synonymous with, that's famous for, is its racing games. There are so many great arcade racers, simulation racers, combat racers. Um, you know, all, all different kinds of racing games. So we'll just go through them real quick. You've got Racing Italiano. That one is still sealed and will stay sealed. Juiced. Had high hopes for this one. Arctic Thunder because I love Hydro Thunder. Didn't really like that one as much. Jet X2O. We've got both the Splashdown games. Splashdown and uh, Splashdown Rides Gone Wild, which I think is far superior. You got Crash and Burn. Burnout 3, the takedown. Spy Hunter. Twisted Metal Black. You know, I have yet to actually really sit down and play a Twisted Metal game. Uh, the grand, the granddaddy of simulated arcade, not arcade, simulator racing games on the PS uh, game stations, Gran Turismo. Unfortunately, I only ever played through the first one on the uh, PlayStation 1. Star Wars Racer Revenge Pod Racing. Awesome. If you love pod racers on N64, check that one out. Here's an interesting one. This is Kinetica. If you ever buy this game, just remember that it comes with comes with like an art book and a manual. So if you want that one complete, make sure it's got both of those in there. Extreme G Racing. This is a continuation of the two games on the N64. I would say almost the granddaddy of the arcade racers on the PlayStation consoles. Uh, Need for Speed, so there's Need for Speed Underground. Need for Speed Underground 2. Underrated series right here, Midnight Club, pretty good. Uh, Auto Modelista, Capcom game, Cell Shaded. This game looks like a million bucks, looks really pretty, but unfortunately it doesn't play that great. We've got DT Racer, and finally Corvette in that stack. We've got the uh, the trifecta of Tokyo Extreme Drift Racers. So there's the first one, the second one, the third one, which uh, this one's actually a little bit harder to find. So if you ever see that one, pick it up. And then we've got the flurry of uh, ATV off-road fury games, ATV one, two, three, and four. Never really played any of those, but I heard they're really, really good. All right, so we got some, uh, I don't know, I guess we call these like more Disney type kid type games, uh, Nickelodeon type stuff here. We've got uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Frogger, Looney Tunes Back in Action, Finding Nemo. You know, I played this on the Game Boy Advance. It wasn't bad. It's a puzzle game, puzzle adventure platformy type game. Hurdy Gurdy. I'll say it that way. Tom and Jerry Wore the Whiskers. 
The Adventures of Cookies and Cream. This is Brad from Chasing the Classics, favorite game, Age Tech. Simpsons Road Rage. SpongeBob SquarePants. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. And then we've got the uh, the trio of Thai Tasmanian Tiger games, which I tried to play those. I actually really did not like them. We've got uh, some Lego games. Lego games are pretty fun to play, you know, when you don't want to play a hard game. But uh, we've got Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures. Love Indiana Jones. And then we've got a duo of Lego Star Wars, the Star Wars the video game, and the original trilogy, which I just finished that one for the Xbox this year. Wasn't bad. Like I said, you know, the PlayStation 2 has so many games from so many different genres. We have a bevy of Guitar Hero games. I've got the guitars and stuff in the boxes downstairs. I'm not going to waste my time to go get them and waste. You guys know what Guitar Heroes look like. We've got uh, Disney Sing It, Factory Sealed. I also have a double of this. Risk Global Domination. I used to love this game back in the day. The actual board game. We've got Hard Rock Casino, still Factory Sealed. Actually, kind of open that and see what it's like. Mad Maestro. Tetris Worlds. There is an alternate cover to this, so if you're looking for variations or your set collecting, just remember there's two different covers for that game. And Super Bust a Move with one of the weirdest cover arts I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> how's that look? Uh, like I said, a lot of genres. We have the hunting genre, there's a stack of Cabela's games. I've never played any of these. I'm not a hunter in real life, so you know I'm not gonna play a hunting simulation type game. We've got uh, some Tony Hawks. Never really into the Tony Hawk games. I've played them, but uh, I've never really played them to completion. We've got some SSX games. SSX, SSX3, and Tricky. Put that up there. We've got MX Rider. I think I got that at a garage sale for a dollar. I don't know. I don't know if it's any good. One of my favorite genres of all time. Oh my God, it's wrestling. Smackdown, just bring it. I remember playing this game, popping it in. And this is one of those graphics can't get any better than this. Playing tag team wrestling on the NES and, uh, you know, WCW, NWO World Tour, the N64. When you play a game like this, where the rosters are so big, the move sets are so spot on, they've got the wrestler's mannerisms down. You know, it's like, oh my God, like, crazy. Smackdown, shut your mouth. Uh, showdown, Legends of Wrestling with the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah. I got this one from MC Murr. Fire Pro Wrestling. Different take. It's an isometric type uh, wrestling game. And last one here, Legends of Wrestling. Worms Forts <laughs> Under Siege. Recently got that for $1.99 at a thrift store. Echo the Dolphin. I remember this game when it came out. X-Squad. This was kind of a huge deal. Next Generation Graphics. That's what it says right on the back. Starsky and Hutch. Sonic Heroes. Blade 2. Oh, I remember playing this game in the arcade with the big sniper rifle. Silent Scope 2. This is a dark silhouette. Those games are awesome. Transformers the game. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Now everybody tells me, every, every review I watch, uh, they say it's a great game. I've never played it, so maybe we'll give that a chance. SD Gundam Force Showdown with little chibi Gundams. Isn't that cool? Dead to Rights. Destroy All Humans. State of Emergency. Rayman 2, The Terminator, Dawn of Fate, Armored Core 2, which is another H-Tech title. I think I got this from Spruch Game Hunting, pretty sure. Uh, Kengo, Master of Bushido. I tried to play that game, didn't actually really like it. Time Splitters 2, another series I've never played. Can you believe that? Prince of Persia. I, have, I did pop this game in for like 10 or 15 minutes, but I don't really consider that playing the game, you know? We got uh, Blood Rain, Gen G, Dawn of the Samurai, Deus Ex, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Let's talk about this. This was, other than Spider Man, which came out on PS4 last year, 
This was the last game that I pre-ordered from GameStop. It's been that long since I actually pre-ordered a game from GameStop. I had such high hopes for this game, and it starts off, you know, you're throwing guys off the ship and everything, and uh, I really liked it, but those parts where you're playing is riding and you're doing naked flips in the sewer. Uh, I never played any of the Metal Gear Solid games after that. This, this game really turned me off to the series, so maybe I'll give three a try if I can find a nice condition copy. Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, a game that I really want to play, just man, making time sometimes for these games. Crash Bandicoot and the Wrath of Cortex, excellent game, terrible loading time, so just keep that in mind. We've got a couple of Ratchet and Clank games here. Up your arsenal. Love this series right here. Underrated series is squad-based tactics type game. Conflict, Desert Storm. And we've got a game that I started to play this year, Back to Baghdad, the second part. Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, Medal of Honor, European Assault. Call of Duty World at War. SOCOM Combined Assault. Splinter Cell, Dubal Agent. Must be two of them. Ace Combat Zero, The Balkan War. Ace Combat Four, Shattered Skies. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. Now this actually came with three Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I don't have those cards, so I just have the manual. Sad face. Yu Yu Hakushu Dark Tournament. I don't know anything about this game. I think I got it for a dollar or two at Maxine's Bargain Box. Shiny cover. Could not uh, turn it down. Robotech Battle Cry. Robotech Invasion. We've got uh, Legacy of Kane Defiance. Just the disc. I don't have the uh, case and manual for that. Legacy of Kane Blood Omen 2. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Gauntlet, Seven Sorrows, Samurai Warriors, Koei title. I don't think I've ever spent that much time playing a Samurai Warriors game either. Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends. The Legend of Alondar. Alondar. Neopets. Half-Life. Crazy Taxi! Great arcade game, man. Came out on, like every console imaginable. <laughs> Rygar. Here's a good one to have right here. Graffiti Kingdom. I found this at Goodwill for $1.99. Of course, it's missing the case in the manual, but good buy right there. I always, always, when I jump on eBay, I always try and find the case in manual for that. I want to piece that together. Cool game. Katamari Damacy. The Sims Bustin' Out. Sub Rebellion, Irim game. It's actually uh, like a shooter type game, first person type shooter. So that's cool. Enter the Matrix, another shiny cover. Had to have it. Hunter the Reckoning, Wayward, and uh, Kill Switch. I I got this at Maxine's Bargain Box the first time we went there. Uh, he was pricing games. I'm like, oh hey, I was looking for that game. He had like two bucks on it. Um, he was like, just take it. So I was like, cool. That place that got me hooked on going to Maxine's Bargain Box free games shiny covers and free games man you have my attention rampage total destruction scaler another dollar garage sale pickup spartan total warrior pac-man world 2 leisure suit larry this franchise has been going on forever i know there's one on the ps3 bad boys miami takedown mike lowry manhunt Reign of Fire. Here's kind of a cool game. One you don't see a whole lot. It's Magic Pengle, the Quest for Color. Very interesting type game there. Don't see it a lot. The Thing. I think I got this from Retro Social or Game Hunter. I told him I'd play it. I've never played it. <laughs> I haven't played it. Backlogs, man. Backlog is, is a real thing. I'm going to mess this one up. Oakage? Shadow King? Total Overdose. I heard this is sort of a Grand Theft Auto y type clone. Super Monkey Ball Adventure. Got this from uh, Sean Holland for free. My man, Shao. Yakuza 2 in a, a replacement case. It's got the manual and uh, the disc has got some writing on it. And it's a little cracked in the center, but I think it might spin. Hidden Invasion, another dollar Maxine's Bargain Box uh, purchase there. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. I got that for a dollar. I don't know if you can see that. 
one dollar makes you holler all right awesome game here gun grave got the second one gun grave overdose red dead revolver i need to play this one yeah it's going it's going on the list red dead revolver's little cousin gun actually not not bad i could have enjoyed that i got a couple hours into that one mega man x7 mega man x8 which i think i got from uh jason vectrex hitman 2 hitman contracts got a couple of american chopper games i've never played these games and i'm kind of looking at the backs they're like customizable bikes and take them out on the road and i'm like yeah we're gonna have to play one of these just to just to see what's up you know what i mean jack and daxter jacks three we've got the uh onimusha trilogy it's um uh, yeah, resident evil 4 a game i still want to play uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X with the bonus disc for Devil May Cry. Speaking of which, I've got uh, Devil May Cry 1 and Devil May Cry 2. God of War. PlayStation 2 staple right there. Uh, God of War 2 with the bonus disc. Max Payne. Max Payne 2. Now this is a series that I definitely want to get into, uh, but I want to play the first game first. Uh, Sly Cooper, I have two, and I have Sly Cooper three. I'm missing the first one, so uh, we've got a couple Contra games here: Contra Shattered Soldiers and uh, Neo Contra, which I got from Retro Rec Room for like thirteen dollars, which I thought was a good price. Got hair on there or something, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Shattered Soldiers really good. I've not played Neo Contra yet. All right, if you know me and you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I love superhero games and i love compilation discs so we'll take a look at the compilation discs first metal slug four and five unfortunately i am missing disc five uh for that or metal slug five not disc five but uh yeah awesome to have that you've got uh some pinball hall of fames i do love pinball i think these games are great but uh, i think the ones on the ps4 are far superior you've got uh, art of fighting anthology we're running out of room World Heroes Anthology, Activision Anthology, guess what, Atari Anthology, uh, Namco Museum, great collection there, Taito Legends, another great collection of games, Capcom Classic Collections, we've got uh, the Sonic Mega Collection Plus, this is different than the one on the GameCube because it has Plus, which means it's got the Game Gear games included, and uh, Mega Man, Mega Man Collection. Yeah, I love this game. I think I, I, I got that for $5. I don't think. I know I got it for $5 off of like OfferUp or something. Even though I also already had it on the GameCube. Had to have it on the PS2. So We've got uh, Spawn. Some superhero games here. Wolverine's Revenge. Hulk. We've got the uh, Spider-Man Trio. One, two, and three. Spider-Man Friend or Foe. Got the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, both of those. Those are awesome games. I remember my son and I used to play those. And then for some reason I'm missing X-Men Legends 1, but I've uh, got X-Men Legends 2. Now I know that some of you guys out there are huge fighting game fans. So in addition to those compilations that I have, these are some of the other fighting games in my collection. We got Soul Calibur 3, Naruto Yuzum, Naruto Chronicles. <laughs> Uh, Naruto Chronicles 2. My, my, my oldest son is a huge Naruto fan. Uh, Ultimate Ninja and uh, Ultimate Ninja 2. Dragon Ball Z, Super Dragon Ball Z, which I got at Goodwill for $1.99, which is awesome. Dragon Ball Z Infinite World, Tekken 4, Tekken 5, and uh, my favorite Tekken of all time, Tekken Tag. I love this game. I've had to buy that game like three times. All right, so we've got the, uh, I guess the Grand Theft Auto kind of trilogy here. Three, Vice City and San Andreas. I think there's another one like China Wars or Liberty City Stories or something. Uh, we've got a couple Spyros, Spyro and the Eternal Night, Hero's Tale, A New Beginning. What else we got? Uh, Siphon Filter, the Omega Strain. Siphon Filter is one of my favorite game franchises. 
of all time. Although I would not recommend this game. If you see it for two or three bucks, pick it up because it's worth two or three bucks. We've got uh, Logan's Shadow, which was the... I love how they put this on the PlayStation 2 game. IGN's 2007 PSP Game of the Year. Well, if it's so good on the PSP, why don't I bother buying on the PS2? Still a good game. My favorite Siphon Filter game of all time, Dark Mirror. Really, really awesome. And uh, highly recommend it. And these Siphon Filter games are all dirt cheap. So, at PlayStation 2, they, they made a sort of a, a quadruple of Tomb Raider games. I don't have the Dark Angel one. I don't think it's any good. But uh, we have the three by Crystal Dynamics and Eidos, which are very, very good. Tomb Raider Underworld. Tomb Raider Legend. And, uh, wow, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Shiny cover. Had to have it. But uh, it's a remake of the original Tomb Raider game from the old PlayStation 1 days. Updated graphics, updated sound. And uh, there's some different play mechanics in here. Really, really enjoyed this game. And uh, I highly recommend it. If you got 10 bucks to spend on a PlayStation 2 game, get that one for sure. We've got Dr. Mudo, which I think is a Metal Jesus hidden gem game. Freaky Flyers, never played that one. Actually, I heard this one's pretty good. James Cameron's Dark Angel. Again, yeah, never played it, man. There's so many games on the PS2 that I have not played. I have played this one. Nightmare Before Christmas. Awesome game there. Dino Stalker, kind of interesting. It's a Gun Con 2 game. And uh, you're like a pilot and you get sucked into this time rift and you go back into the land of dinosaurs and you got to shoot them. Good stuff. Uh, the Bouncer, Squaresoft title. Jaws Unleashed. Here's a game I actually don't see very often. This is Red Ninja End of Honor. Picked that up at Goodwill for a couple bucks. Beautiful Joe 2. Star Trek Encounters. Decent. You know, four or five dollars are worth of fun there. It's a Bethesda game, so they, they put a lot of time and quality into it, but I don't think the gameplay is that great. Uh, working Designs game. Got this from uh, True McFly. We got Gun Griffin Blaze. Shiny cover. Had to have it. Project Silphie The Lost Planet. Shiny cover. Uh, awesome shooter. Looks beautiful. I mean, it's Working Designs quality. Which brings us to some of our shooters here. We've got Mobile Light Force 2. You wouldn't know it by the cover, but this is actually a very, very awesome bullet hell shooter developed and published by XS Games. Here's its sequel, Castle Shikigami 2. Now in Japan, that series was known as Shikigami no Shiro. And when they brought it over to America, they really screwed it up. It was Gunbird, Mobile Light Force. And they finally got it on track with this one, Castle Shikigami 2. There's a sequel to that on the Wii called Castle of Shikigami. R-Type Final, looks beautiful, tough game. We've got Evil Dead, Fistful of Boomstick, Aliens vs. Predator Extinction. This is a like a tactics type game, which is cool. Obscure the Aftermath. We are running out of room. Uh, some cheap uh, Atlas titles here. We got Charo Q, it's sort of a RPG, kind of cutesy racer type game, which is awesome. That's not gonna stay there, we gotta put it down here. We have Hard Hitter Tennis. I think I got that for 99 cents or $1.99 or something. But uh, yeah, filler title. It's an Atlas title, so you don't feel that bad about wasting $2. Okami. Eureka. Seven, volume one, the new wave. Never even heard of this. I recently just picked that up. So we've got Siren. A pair of great games right here, guys. Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Awesome. Got this one from True McFly in a trade. Coliseum Road to Freedom. It's a Koei title. You actually don't see this a lot. There's a couple sealed copies of this on eBay right now for like 130 bucks. But uh, to find a copy of this is uh, not an easy task. And it looks like the, the last one that sold on eBay was like a month or two ago. And it sold for like 22 or 23 bucks. Dirt cheap. Here's another sort of hidden gem. The X-Files. Resist or Serve. Plays like a Resident Evil game, sort of tank controlling. Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. A game that I definitely need to go back and finish. Beyond Good and Evil. I got to a part and I got stuck. Got frustrated, turned it off, never went back to it. Beautifully done game. I cannot give this game any more praise. It's fantastic. Very popular genre on the PlayStation 2 was RPGs. We got a ton of them for the uh, 
for the uh, PlayStation 2. I actually have a nice stack of them, which is weird because I don't really play RPGs, but uh, we'll just flip through them. We got Radius Stories, Valkyrie Profile 2, Crimson Sea 2, Champions of Norath, and uh, Champions of Norath Return to Arms. Again, I found those at Goodwill for $2.99 a piece, which was a steal. Yeez, the Ark of Napotism. We've got uh, Dragon Quest 8, Tales of the Abyss, both of the Kingdom Hearts games, which are excellent. Again, I got stuck, got frustrated, didn't finish it. <laughs> Wild Arms 3, we've got uh, Dark Cloud 1 and uh, Dark Cloud 2, Dot Hack Infection, Orphan Scion of Sorcery. Unlimited Saga, Rogue Galaxy, Final Fantasy, uh, what is this, 12 in the uh, collector's tin, Star Ocean in the box, Xenosaga, Xenosaga 2, which, again, I think I got that half price books for $16.99, but I think I got like 20% off or something, so pretty cool there. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Grandia 2, and then we've got uh, Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X-2. Before we get into the cream of the crop here, the best games that I own, uh, I've got some like box sets and some kind of special stuff to show. We've got, uh, I found this, it's Ultimate Codes Action Replay for Enter the Matrix. I always, I always think these are really cool. I picked them up when I can find them dirt cheap. Uh, just kind of neat little additions to the collection. We've got some PAL games. Now, my PlayStation 2 is not region free, so I can't play these games, but uh, I think they're still kind of cool. I found this one at a kind of like a pawn shop for two bucks. Deadly Skies 3. It's a Konami game, so for two bucks, I picked it up. And I got these two games from Kane Deathbreaker. We've got uh, King of Fighters Maximum Impact 2. And we've got uh, Metal Slug 5. So remember earlier I was missing the Metal Slug 5 disc. I have it, just in a different region. So uh, PlayStation 2 is always, uh, really good. They're not always, but they were really good for these kind of box sets. This one's really cool right here. This is uh, SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Found that at Goodwill for $3. And it does come with the game and the headset. You can see in there, the headset is in there. And uh, it's actually pretty well taken care of. So. No complaints here. We've got the Call of Duty Legacy Collection, which has uh, Big Red 1 and Finest Hour. Both complete the box has seen better days though. And then super excited to have this in the collection. This is the Crash Bandicoot Action Pack. Comes with uh, Nitro Kart, Twin Sanity, and Tag Team Racing, which is really cool. I bought a lot, and then this was like one of the things I got to keep out of the lot. So I was pretty excited about that. All right, so this is the last thing that I'm gonna show you before we get into the big dog games. Big dog. I love these. These are the uh, Gun Con 2 big box. Come with a Gun Con, the game, the cable. Really, really awesome. I did an unboxing of this on my uh, channel a long time ago, and I really enjoyed it. But I, Time Crisis is one of my favorite shooting arcade games. And uh, yeah, I just love them. So I wish I could find more of these because they make like Vampire Night. There's Time Crisis 2. There's a bunch of them. And I uh, got this one at half price books for like $8.99. And uh, it's Time Crisis, Crisis Zone, so happy to add that to the collection. Now, let's get into the really, really, really good stuff. All right, here we go. We've got uh, right in 3. I think I got Retro Heck. I got that from Retro Heck. Complete, awesome game. Love it. Tough game to find complete here. This is Rez. Sort of a hypnotic, rhythmic type shooter. Can't wait to play this game. Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. Love Ghost in the Shell. We've got uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. This one does come with the bonus disc. There's actually three different versions of this game. One's a black label, one's a greatest hits, and one's a black label with the bonus disc. I don't know what the prices are, but uh, here's a game that actually dropped a lot in price. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Still very happy to have this in the collection. I love Jurassic Park. Sky Gunner, another Atlas title. Sugani cool title there this title actually doesn't go for uh, a ton of money it's like a 20 25 dollar game arcana heart that's a beautiful cover and we've got outrun 2006 coast to coast 
which decent game there. I actually have another copy. Ooh, yeah, that's good. We've got uh, Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. Not very common. Mr. Mosquito, I remember I picked that up at a garage sale like two or three years ago for a dollar. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, I put it in the box and think about it. And then I just happened to see a price on it and I'm like, wow, that game goes for that much. Game I got recently, Jade Cocoon 2. Soul Nomad. And the World Eaters. Never played that one. Forever Kingdom. All right, so you're probably wondering why everything has been removed from the shelf and everything's been set back up the way it normally is in my normal videos. Uh, I wanted to show you guys my last four rare PS4 game, or PS4 games, Jesus. Now I'm just flustered. Uh, my last four PS2 games, and uh, for some reason that clip got deleted, corrupted, whatever, I can't find it. And I'd already put everything away, so I'll just show them to you now. We've got Wild Arms Alter Code F. Recently picked that up. Uh, it is complete with the manual and the bonus disc, which is awesome. We've got Obscure. Pretty rare survival horror game there. We've got Haunting Ground, the uh, rare Capcom survival horror game. There's beautiful graphics and artwork on this game. I tried to play it. I got about 15 minutes into it. Couldn't figure out where to go. The guy that was chasing me killed me. And I uh, couldn't figure out how to get out of it. And we've got Rule of Rose. Awesome Atlas game here. So hopefully soon we'll get Kuon. And we will complete our four pack of survival horror games on the PS4. But yeah, sorry about the, the weird jump edit thing, guys. Back to the video. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging in there and sticking around to the end of this video. I know it was a long video, but PlayStation 2 is so awesome that I wanted to make sure that I did it justice. At the end of the credits, I will sneak in the uh, PlayStation 2 2000 launch weekend extravaganza video that was on the PlayStation Ground under PlayStation Underground Magazine Volume 44 CD. So. It's just funny to, to, to jump back 20 years and uh, take a look at how we were talking, what we were dressed like. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's wild, man. But anyway, I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Take care of yourselves, and as always, we'll see you on the next one. PlayStation 2, it's on everyone's mind these days, and leading us into its North American launch, the excitement and anticipation surrounding it is starting to blow a few minds. Man, the graphics, the graphics is outstanding out here, I'm loving it. The graphics are sweet, especially on that fighting one down there. The controllability of the games are unbelievable. I mean, it's very smooth. It's smooth, it's fast, and it makes for a more real-life playing experience. It's pretty, uh, pretty close to cinematic quality. It's, it's unbelievable. There were a lot of parties being planned to celebrate the arrival of the PlayStation 2. Since we've never been known to miss out on free food and drink, we flew down to L.A. for what turned out to be a rather raucous rave. Oh man, this is beautiful. As you can see here, we got the hundreds of kids having fun playing PlayStation 2, dancing in the unison of, you know, the music. This is, I think, what, you know, the urban culture, they play video games, they listen to uh, music, they, they go to raves. All the kids here, they play video games, you know? And you go to a rave, you play a video game, you go play a video game, you dance when you win. Same difference, you know? It's all good. Dancing and video games. What better life is that? This was definitely a rave to remember. Some people were dancing up a storm out on the floor. And some were creating another type of storm playing video games. We were interested in what their favorite games were. Ready to rumble too. Shaquille O'Neal with that reach, baby. Let's put him up. I got to beat up Michael Jackson. I feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to beat up Michael Jackson. Tekken is my favorite game. It's really in intricate fighting, and it's the styles of the fighting is just great, you know? It's I think Ridge Racer 5 looks great. Finally realized as it should be. Um, 
Vanavision's actually really good too, which I, I'm kind of glad they did something to show off the power. Great demonstration of its lighting and particle effects. I like the football one over there in the in the bar area, the 21 and up area. The football one has nice graphics. You got the people on the sideline chilling. You see them drinking their Gatorade while they're playing, and that's, I mean, how can you get any realer? The following week, we were off to the Metreon in San Francisco. That's where Sony Computer Entertainment was celebrating in style. Of course, when it came to having an opinion on which games were the best, these folks needed no prompting. The favorite thing, obviously, has been Madden 2001. It's just been great. I mean, everything from the realism of the rain scene, I think it's totally cool. And then I love watching, you know, the fact that they're breathing in the rain through the field. So, and then not only do you get to play football, but you get to actually feel like you're there. Uh, the Tech and Tag uh, tournament is pretty, uh, pretty unbelievable. Well, my favorite game was SSX snowboarding game. Um, I thought the visual effects were really great. The graphics was awesome. Carmen, Sony just, just remember this. Debra, Debra. Before you could say honey roasted peanuts, we were back on another plane headed for LA. With no invitation in sight, we made a feeble attempt to crash a star-studded Hollywood party. Luckily, we knew someone on the guest list who was able to sneak us in. Now, we may have been starstruck, but Maggie did manage to strike up some conversations. I'm a huge PlayStation fan. I I've been waiting for this day. I'm going to cry right now. I, I think I'm going to cry. I'm a huge fan. Oh, I'm having a blast. I mean, there's, there's music, food, and PlayStation. It's pretty much a guy's heaven. I think I can pretty much quit, quit my TV show and just sit up here on the roof and play. Maggie, the epitome of the inquiring mind, just had to know if Wayne was going to subscribe to the PlayStation Underground. Now that I know the PlayStation Underground is around, I'll be there. I'll definitely be there. Um, can, I, can I get codes and tips and whatnot? Oh, yeah. Then I'll do it. Because when I can't beat it, I just cheat. It's sad but true. Even though we were wiped out from our trips, we were brimming with confidence that the PlayStation 2 launch would be a huge success. Why? Because of the word on the street. Um, actually, I already got one reserved for the day it comes out. Uh, most definitely. I already have mine pre-ordered. Yeah, definitely. On uh, the 26th, I'll be either camping or I'll be knocking doors to get one. I thought it would be like a perfect birthday present for me because today's my birthday. And I'm definitely going to go buy me one right when it comes out. It's on my Christmas list. I'm hoping to get two. I can't wait for them to come out. I'm going to get like six of them.